What is going on guys? My name is Joey Orva DBZ God123 and today guys we have another little to be on this video on the pretty much the next Dragon Ball Z game. Now I'm sure I'm sure something I think oh my god is the next Dragon Ball Z game. Yes, it is unfortunately the next Dragon Ball Z game. So pretty much I'm gonna get to pretty much explaining what this game is, what this next Dragon Ball Z game is, what it's called, pretty much what is the Pretty much what are the features of the game and all that kind of stuff right there and personally what I think about all of this because I have some little thoughts about this because this is kind of bullshit in my personal opinion. So without wasting any more time in this video, let us get started with this little to be honest video and all that kind of stuff right there. So yeah, alright. So, the next Dragon Ball Z game. It got announced. Yesterday, it got announced. Um, pretty much around 12 o'clock Eastern Time, they announced the next Dragon Ball Z game, which is pretty much called Dragon Ball Z Super Extreme. Boot, Boodle Ted? Not Boodle Ten, wow. Boodle Ted, uh, um, Boot Ten or whatever. But yeah, Boot Ten. If I said it wrong, correct me in the comments, but yeah. That was pretty much the name of the next Dragon Ball Z game. Now, pretty much, they did, um, they, they did, um, Weekly Shonen Jump has announced a new Dragon Ball title for the, um, pretty much for the Nintendo 3DS, and I'll probably say the 2DS as well. So, pretty much, this is gonna be a Nintendo game only. Not a Nintendo game only. It's not gonna be for your Xbox One, it's not gonna be for the PS4, it's not gonna be for the PC, Xbox 360, and PS3. No. It is just gonna be for the Nintendo 3DS. Now, could it be for the 2DS? We really don't know, but pretty much, this is gonna be like a 3D kind of scoop for the Dragon Ball Z games. Now, the first, um, installation for this game was in 2011, which was with, with the Nintendo DS. Now, pretty much this game will feature over a hundred different characters, including both Gigi and Boma, as well as some assistant characters. And yes, Boma is in this game, and Chi-Chi. Um, they look pretty cool. You guys are seeing the skin are not on your screen. They look, they look, they do, they do look pretty cool. But this, each character will have its own unique stage as well. Additionally, as well, guys, each character will have their very own unique stage in which on the platform they can um wait in which they can perform their own special attack. It will also feature 1v1 fights as well as team battles. You don't know if it's a 2v2, 3v3, 4v4. It's not like um, Battle of Z or Xenoverse. No, it's probably gonna be like a team battle. Like, we can make 5 players, 5v5, and that kind of thing right there. So, overall, this game looks pretty cool. It does look, it does look cool. And so you guys note this, this game is not going to be available for English. As of right now, this is only been confirmed for Japan, just like J Stars. Right now, this is only been confirmed for J Stars, so do note that. Now, we do see some cool characters. We do see some cool characters. We see Chilled. Chilled is a playable character in this game, so that is actually pretty freaking cool, guys. I mean, Chilled is finally playable in this game. Some of his Dragon Ball characters, so pretty much this game is in from Dragon Ball Z. Dra no, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, with Dragon Ball GT. So it's pretty much gonna be over 100 characters, pretty much like Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Tenkaichi 3. So, well, that's pretty much all right there. You guys can see on the sc um, sc pretty much see on the scan or on the screen. I mean, it's all self explanatory. I mean, you guys can see it. The game does look pretty cool. I really, do. I mean, it's not, it doesn't seem that great, but it seems like a very interesting game, in my opinion. Now, this game is being developed by Arc System Works. So do know that I've never heard of that company. That's kind of weird. I think it's some Japan company, but I've never heard of them. So that's pretty much all. What, so that's pretty much what's going to be about the game. Now this game is going to be available this summer. Pretty much, it's going to be available this summer in 2015. So that's pretty much all the news and all that kind of stuff we did hear about this game. Is there if there is, if there is going to be more news about this game, I'm not going to be reporting about it. Right now, I'm just going to give my overall thoughts. Now, to be honest here, right? Why are they confirming a Dragon Ball Z game, right? When Xenoverse hasn't even been out for a month. They've already confirmed the next Dragon Ball Z game when Xenoverse hasn't even come out. I mean, I thought we were supposed to enjoy this game to the full, a game I'll be playing for two to three years. It just makes me mad, right? How they're already confirming another Dragon Ball Z. Well, some people might argue saying, well, this is not going to be a huge game. A huge Dragon Ball Z game. Plus, it's only going to be for Japan only, so it's not that big of a deal. Well, it is a big deal because they're already confirming another Dragon Ball Z game. And Xenoverse hasn't been out for a month yet. Yeah, this game does look cool, but they're already putting something else on the market. I mean, that's just upsetting in my personal opinion. Yeah, right now we really don't know if we're getting it for English, but I mean, it's just upsetting. It really is very upsetting in my personal opinion. Now... Well, am I real upset about this? Yes. Will I be getting this game? No. Right now, it hasn't been confirmed for English, so I don't, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the 3DS is region locked. I'm not so sure, but I mean, the game does look good, but to be honest here, I do not want this game. I, I Okay. 
if they were to confirm this game, maybe a couple months after Xenoverse, I would be upset, but I would be okay. Confirming it maybe a couple months after, but it still gets me mad because Xenoverse hasn't been out for a year yet. I mean, at least a battle of Z I get, well, they didn't even give it a year, they gave it a couple months. But this game, they already confirmed after just not even one month of being game released. Yeah, it's a Nintendo exclusive only, so it really doesn't matter to some people, but to be honest, I'm actually pretty upset. I mean, I was I don't really want this game. I don't think the community or anybody in Japan really needs this game yet. Yeah, um, some people in Japan really do like Nintendo, you know, playing Dragon Ball Z on Nintendo. Nintendo, that's how it used to be back in the game back in the day with the GameCube and stuff like that, but we really don't need this game. We don't need it. We got Xenoverse right here. I mean I don't understand the purpose. Yeah, some people really like Nintendo and stuff like that. I'd be like, oh yeah, I really. I mean, I'm not a Nintendo player. I don't play the PS4 and Xbox One. I'm st I'm just gonna stick to my Nintendo. I like playing Dragon Ball Z games on like the GameCube and stuff like that back in the day, and with the Nintendo DS or whatever. But now I just want to play it. Well, I only play games with the DS and Nintendo. I like playing Dragon Ball Z games with the DS and the GameCube. That's pretty much the point I try to make here. So, some people are like that. Some people are, I can understand that, but this game is not needed. It should not, this game, we don't need this game at all. So overall, to be honest, the game looks good, but I just don't want it. And plus, I have, I'm having some mixed feelings here for uh, over a hundred, over a hundred plus characters, because I don't want copy and paste character. I don't, I mean, I have a hunch, right? I have a hunch that this game is going to be copy and paste for each single character. And watch how the maps now, watch them have very few maps. Watch. Watch how the maps might even be look at all. I mean, it's a 2D game. Watch these maps not even be that great. Watch these characters not even be unique. This game, in my opinion, I know I haven't even played against it. Some people might say, well, you haven't even played the game yet. You really can't judge it. I'm just judging it on the skin and how the game looks and how I feel like the game is and its features. Over 100, 100 plus character roster, I feel like. Copy and paste. Just a copy and paste character roster. Watch that happen for this game. So, that's pretty much all I had to say about that. I mean, there's really not a lot to talk about. This game is, the scan is self-explanatory. I mean, that's pretty much all I had to say here for today, guys. So, anyway, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Pretty much, to be honest, video uh, pretty much about Dragon Ball Z Super Extreme um, Buten. I can't pronounce that well. I can't pronounce that. But pretty much, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit up a like, favorite, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, what do you guys think about this game? What do you guys think of this game? Are you, gonna, are you guys gonna buy this game? Are you guys gonna pretty much find a way to do it? Are you guys gonna use it with emulator? Are you guys hyped for this game? Do you, do, do you guys think, do you guys think the community really needs this game? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of this video. That's all I have to say here for today. I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Joey, and until the next, I will be talking to you all later with some more Xenoverse videos and all that stuff right there. Go follow me on Twitch. Just saying, go follow me on Twitch because it's linked in the description. So, go follow me. That's all I have to say here for today. Hope you all enjoyed. My name is Joey, and until the next, I'll be talking to you all later. Till then, peace out.